Hi, my name is Paul Davis, and today we're looking at five classic riffs. Yet another video about those riffs. Yeah. It's getting old, man. I'm sick of that. Yeah, me too, to be honest. But today we're going to back, back Bach, the composer, uh, backify them and let artificial intelligence do its job. That seems like fun. That's what I thought. <laughs> you see, in today's doodle, you can create your own melody. And through the magic of machine learning and artificial intelligence, the doodle will harmonize your melody in Bach's style. So with machine learning, you can teach a computer what to come up with by itself by showing it a lot of examples. And that's exactly what was done. So they fed the machine 306 of Bach's chorales. They always have four voices, each having their own distinct melodic line. Combining those four lines creates rich harmonic progressions. And apparently Bach's music is pretty mathematical structured, so therefore ideal to use in combination with artificial intelligence. So, but how does it handle classic riffs? Let's find out. Let's start with, you will recognize this. So I can change the key with this button. The key is E minor, so that's G major. All right, let's start with an E. E to, e to G. Back to E, to D, C, and B. This sounds great. Now let's click the harmonize button. It doesn't sound too bad, right? It sounds pretty awesome. So I, I actually read that we're meant to listen to it, and if we don't like the results, we can just retry and retry till we find something that works for us. But I think this one is pretty cool. But now, how does it sound if we play these four voices on a guitar? On four guitars, let's find out. It's pretty cool. Okay, but now let's try one and see if you can recognize it by listening to the result. So I'm gonna fill one in, you don't hear what it is, I'm gonna hit the harmonize button and you're gonna hear the result. The first one who gets it right gets a cookie, digital cookie. There we go. Pretty sketchy, but pretty cool as well. I think if you just analyze the notes, we can learn something from this. So to train it, they randomly erased some of the notes from his chorales and asked the model to reconstruct the missing pieces. The difference between the originals and what the computer came up with gave them a lot of signals to train the model in creating these pieces. Okay, so let's do one more, and this one is fun, because we're doing Other Side by the Chili Peppers. Originally, this is a two voiced piece. When Anthony Kiedis is singing, it's of course three voices, but how will it sound with four voices? Let's find out. Key of A minor, so no sharps, no flats. Um, let's start with E. Okay, let's harmonize. <laughs> I love the sus chord in the third bar, or in the beginning of the second bar in this. I notated it two times as fast to get the entire riff inside a two bar maximum. But I love that sus chord over there. Let's, let's try this one with guitars, it's pretty cool.
Talking about making a song better, how easy it is nowadays. Boom, I love it. Okay, now do the last one. And let's get really into the realm of the classics. Let's do Satisfaction by the Stones. It's so weird to do these riffs because most of these riffs are really not going anywhere, harmony-wise. They mostly just hang around the tonic, um, creating these rich harmonies out of these simple melodies. It's pretty bizarre to listen to, but it's also pretty inspiring and fun to do. All right, Satisfaction. Let's clear this one. Dun, dun. Is it a B? Yeah, it starts with B. Um, so that's... Da, da. Do we have a low B? Yeah, I think the key of this tune is E originally. So let's four sharps. Pretty cool, that's it. Harmonize. Let's do it again. <laughs> it's a bit much. Just try it again. Just do it again. I'm thinking maybe if I write the voice one octave higher. The melody I'm writing is a soprano melody, so if all the other melodies at the nor, the alt, and this, uh, the bass needs to be beneath that, that one, that's maybe why it sounded pretty thrashy. This one is pretty awesome. This one I'm gonna nail with the guitars. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, tabs for everything I played are available at my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. Oh, by the way, I'm hosting a free guitar training about the mindset, the strategy, and practice roadmaps, etc., and roadblocks. Check it out at freeguitartraining.com. It's free, so why not? See you there. Cheers.